Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here with Angel B Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, so today I am going to do a quick little video on um, Canva and Creative Fabrica. So basically I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can use things from Creative Fabrica in Canva to make your designs or make your mock-ups or whatever the case may be, okay? So <clears throat> I'm just now getting hit to Creative Fabrica. Like I wanna say over the course of maybe the last 30, 45 days, um, I have been kind of really exploring exploring Creative Fabrica. I use things like Place It for my mockups. Um, I download images from Etsy. I download fonts from um, Creative Market, um, all types of things. So I'm always spending, like Place It has a monthly subscription. I can't even remember how much it is. Um, but between purchasing things on Etsy, downloading fonts on Creative Market, and then paying for a place it monthly su subscription on top of that. And sometimes like one month I didn't pay for the monthly subscription because my car, my debit card got stolen and I had to get another one. So when I replaced my debit card, the place it uh, transaction didn't go through. So that month um, while I was waiting for my new debit cards to come, I, I was using my husband's card and I had to purchase the images like separately. Um, and it was $8 an image. It was $8 per downloaded image. So I was like, you know what? Let me look into Creative Fabrica because I've always heard good things and I kind of just started exploring it. Um, so I wanted to show you guys how to use the mock-ups and the fonts and things like that from Creative Fabrica and how you can use them in Canva to create mock-ups and how you can basically upload the fonts the exact same way that you upload them from the font or Creative Market or anywhere else you purchase fonts from. Okay, so we are going to go over to Creative Fabrica, okay? Um, I am going to leave a link down below. The link is going to be to my landing page. Um, once you click that link, you're going to get to my landing page, and then you'll be able to shop through Creative Fabrica um, that way. Now, they do have a deal going on right now where it's $1 for the first month, and then after that, it's $19 a month. So, like I was saying, um, between purchasing things from Etsy, um, fonts from Creative Market, and then... Um, the $8 per image on Place It, or I think it's actually like $11.99 or something like that for a monthly subscription for Place It. Um, once you add up all of those things, it all comes out to be more than $19 a month. So this is really, you really do get more bang for your buck um, because everything is in one place and it's $19 a month and then you have access to everything. So all of the mock-ups, all of the fonts, literally anything and everything that you can think of is $19 a month. That's it. And then you have access to everything. Okay. So I am definitely canceling my place it. I'm definitely going to try to stop utilizing Etsy so much. Um, but yeah, so this is right now, this is where I'm at, but I want to go into, uh, I want to go into some of these uh, decorative fonts. I know that I saw I favorited, um, let me see, this one, okay? Um, my kids really, really, really love Marvel. So when I saw this, I was like absolutely sold because trying to create something like this, like there was one time I tried to create um, letters like this where I downloaded um, digital wallpapers from Etsy and then I was basically slicing letters from the digital wallpaper. And it comes like it already, like this would have saved me so much time if I would have known that this was here. Um, but yeah, they have a lot of decorative fonts like this and you would literally just um, like print and cut it, okay? Um, so here's a drip font that was real popular at one time. The education, I know there's, um, uh, the end of the year is coming up. So I know people like to gift things to teachers towards the end of the year. They have an education fund. I'm actually going to favorite that. Um, they just have all different types, like these little cutesy fonts that you can make for like little baby onesies, like um, uh, baby showers, um, autism um, fonts here with the puzzle pieces, 
leopard print. I mean, and I'm just in the decorative fonts, okay? Let that, um, okay, my son plays baseball. So let me go ahead and favorite that. Y'all, I will literally be on here all day looking at these fonts. But yeah, there is just so much that you can go through and you can um you can purchase and download. Another one I wanted to show you is the planner mock-ups, which is what I'm going to be using today, one of them. Um, so um, I can show you how to, I'm going to be using this mock-up today, basically. Um, and then they have like this one here, it's a, it's a KDP interior um, journal. So if you sell uh, planners or journals or, or what have you on um, Amazon KDP, you can create a mock-up here. You would just download this and it is like I said, it is already included. So once you've paid that $19, well, the first month is only $1, okay? So for that first month that you've only paid that $1, you get access to literally all of these things, okay? So you can create um, day, uh, planners and all, like if you, if you sell this stuff on Amazon or you can put it up on your website, whatever the case may be, you can just create the actual mock-up and you would download this image. So I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to do a planner. This is the one I did. So you're going to click it and you would download it. So this does include the commercial license. You get unlimited downloads and you do get premium tech support if you need it. Okay. And then here's some other mock-ups. You could do t-shirts, the sublimation pillows. Um, some people put vinyls, vinyl on this as well. Um, look at all these. You have digital papers. These are cute. You have glitter digital paper. I mean, all of this stuff is included in your, um, you have Father's Day coming up. Here's Father's Day little images here. I know people like to use these for their logos. I mean, literally all of this stuff is included in your $19 a month membership, $1 for the first month, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna download this. I've already downloaded it. So you just download this to, to your computer, save it to your desktop or wherever file you wanna save it to. And then we are going to go to Canva, okay? And then we're gonna go over to create a design. Now you can use whichever template you want. I am just going to use a t-shirt template. Okay. And then you're going to go to your uploads and you would upload your image. So wherever you saved it at, you're going to bring it in from there. Okay. And it's going to be in your uploads. So here's the template here once I've uploaded it. And then I'm just going to right click and we're going to set the image as a background. So it did cut off some of it, but um, I don't really care because the main focus for me is obviously going to be the um, the journal. So I'm not really caring that the scissors and all of that got cut off because really I'm just focusing on the journal. Okay. Now the image that I have is going to be um, I got uh, I got her off of. Um, um, Etsy, an Etsy shop called Feathers of Style. I'll link it down below. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's say I wanted to sell this journal, but I don't want to make it until, you know, I get an order. So I'm basically going to just go ahead and create the cover of the journal on this mock-up so that I can put this mock-up either, you know, on my website or in my Etsy shop, wherever I want to put it to market it. And you're basically just going to go ahead and create the image literally right on the cover. And it's just drag and drop. Okay, that's all it is, is we are just dragging and dropping. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this one.
Now, if I'm going to make this, let's say this is a sublimation journal, right? I'm going to make this image in Canva. I'm going to download it as a PNG file. So if somebody does order this journal, I'm obviously going to go ahead and I'm going to make the journal with this exact same image. It's just that I didn't have to waste any time or any ink actually printing off the image and creating a journal to sell it. I can sell it just like this. But I know that when I create it, it's going to look like this, obviously. Okay. Sorry if you can hear my kids in the background. I'm at home today. It's Friday and they didn't have school today. Um, and that's really it, okay? So the, this image, it's a little dark to me. So I'm gonna go over here to brightness and I'm just gonna brighten it up just a little bit. There, I feel like that looks better. Okay, and I'm done. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to download this image and I'm going to put it in my Etsy shop or I'm going to put it on my website or I'm going to put it on my social media, wherever it is that I want to sell it at, I can just download this whole image and market it just like that. Okay. And that took me what, six minutes to make without having to waste any ink or materials or paper or anything like that. Super, super easy. Um, there's another one I have is some t-shirts here. Like they have these blue, just, uh, they're like, a, it's a pack of folded t-shirts. Let me see if I can go back. Cause I had already downloaded these ones. They are just um, folded t-shirt mock-ups. Okay, so they're, and, and these are all the colors you got. It was a whole file, and these are all the colors that you got within that file. It's 12 of them, okay? So you can use a folded t-shirt. We can, you know, Canva has backgrounds. So if I go to photos and I type in wood in my search bar, I'm going to get all these different kinds of wood backgrounds, and I can just pick one, right-click it, set images background. So now I have a wood background. Um, <clears throat> I can go up to elements and I can type in shoes and then go to photos and look, some red converse come up. You see how easy that is? And then my uploads. So this is also the file that I was showing you. So if I wanted to just put this on a shirt with a name or, you know, um, happy birthday or CJ is six or, you know, something like that. I can literally create a whole t-shirt and how I want it to look and an outfit and everything. I can even find pants, y'all, hold on. Let me go to photos and type in pants. And then let me see what we can find. I'm going to do this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to crop it. I'm going to go to edit image, background remover. Let it remove the background. And then look at that. And I can use these pants. Position to back. And look at that. My mock-up is done. Okay, super easy. C creative market and Canva is like together a match made in heaven. Um, definitely beginner friendly. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys how you can use. Um, this is a font that I downloaded, this six right here. It's that, um, this one right here, the superhero doodles is how I got the uh, Spider-Man letters, okay? And you can even upload these to um, Cricut. And if you wanted to add an offset, like a black offset to it, you can do that in Cricut Design Space as well, okay? It's super easy to work with. Um, but yes, I will leave a link down below for Creative Fabrica if you want to try it out. Like I said, for the first 30, for your first month, it's only $1. And then after that, it's $19 a month. I will leave a link for Canva Pro as well if you would like to try it free for 30 days. Um, I will leave a link down below for that as well. I'll also link down below the Etsy shop that I got these images from. It's called Feathers of Style, but I will link it down below. 
Um, and yeah, you guys, that is all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, guys. Bye.